And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Dreadway combo. Uh, this is going to be a deck and kind of the same thing for our first few decks today is we're going to be taking decks that we had been playing in meme tier and so like in normal before that had done well that we wanted to try out in ranked. And this is one that we played in uh, like on a meme tier Monday about 10 days ago. So, you know, like probably I think last Monday. <clears throat> and it did really well and I wanted to try it out in ranked. But yeah, we're going smooth soloist uh, to reduce the cost of our allies in our hand and deck by two. Um, and so, you know, try to reduce the cost of these things, you know, with our Ledros and Dreadway being our, our combo kill. If we can get two sm smooth solos in play to reduce them by four, then it will have five mana Ledros, five mana Dreadway. We can play both of those the same turn. Because, um, of course, how this works is you, you need a Dreadway in play and Dreadway doubles the damage dealt by your stuff, and then Ledro steals, uh, you know, deals damage equal to half of their health, but then you double it, so it does kill them. Um, so, you know, like, we need, we want Dreadway in play, and then to play Ledro. So it's super hard to pull off. We were winning games last time without that really, without that really happening. Uh, we got two Gangplanks in here, basically because of our two Dreadways, but really Thresh and Twisted Fate are a little bit better in our deck. Um... And then, yeah, you know, like we have warning shots to go with Jagged Butcher and uh, Pilfer Goods. You know, we're trying our plunder stuff because turning on plunder is important with Smooth Soloist as well. So here we go. Let's play some Dreadway combo. We're going to go play over in Ranked today. We're trying out we're trying out some some different stuff in Ranked. You know, we've got that. We got uh, this Captain Farron burn deck, which is... Really more of like a mid-range deck, but then using the burn spells from Captain Farron uh, to finish it out. Um, War Mother Glinthorn, you know, like uh, trying that in ranked. We're trying some different stuff today. Okay, so we'll get rid of these. I'm probably not playing Merchant on turn two. I guess you know like, it's going to be a, a later turn play, but I think that Merchant is going to be good against Ezreal Twisted Fate. And maybe I should get rid of Jaw Hunters because it's so easy for them to kill Jaw Hunters. I don't really like having two Jaw Hunters because of Make It Rain, Static Shock. Those are big time removal spells from them. But of course, the Jaw Hunters is card advantage, so it does replace itself with a Sea Monster in hand. That's mostly why I kept it. And then um, the Twisted Deep deck is, is basically like Discard Deep. A viewer submitted list of that. And then um, we'll be playing some light and ice, which is going to be Ash and Lux. I guess Lux for the light, Ash for the ice. Well, that's too bad. One one tough. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. I'll save the Glimpse Beyond. Yeah, that's too bad, it's tough. Basically, I wanted to kill that 2-1. That and I'm glad my Maker Rain <coughs> hit the 2-1. So I want like Yordle Grifter. Twist of Fate's not bad. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. If I play Twisted Fate, I don't have Glimpse Beyond available. We'll go with the Jaw Hunters and Glimpse Beyond to Never sacrifice. You kind of see the weakness of Jaw Hunters in this matchup. I kind of wish I mulliganed the one, especially how we drew another one. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. I'm at a really low life total, which is not where you want to be. It's going to take some work. <clears throat> Me 
Yeah, they had a good hand. Yep. Well, that's pretty cool. Hey, Potato! Donation deck to make a deck with slot bot and assembly bot. Okay. Anything else? A bot deck. Good. Need to kill the smooth soloist with the elusive. You know, I'm I'm at a really low life total. Oh wait, they took so they took two smooth soloists from from me. I didn't even realize that. They took a second one. I was thinking they just played the one that we knew about, but they they played the one we didn't even know about. So they took two from me. Okay. So then they they'll be able to play the other one. Yeah, good hand. I just got too far behind. They just... That deck dealt, dealt a lot of damage. Early, like the... The Petty Officer was awesome. It dealt so much damage to me. Alright, I will build a slot bot plus assembly bot deck for you. Thanks, Potato. Yeah, the sleight of hand took one. That's that's the one that I knew about. Um, but then they just played a different one. I'm gonna mulligan the nab, the nab cards against the deep deck. You know, with Nab helping them go deep. And hopefully this time we get, like, you know, the, you know, we'll have the attack token turn three with the Petty Officer this time and hope that works out for us. We all have the one drop, you know, my opponent last game had, like, one drop attack. Uh, turn three petty officer plus make it rain kill your blocker attack for a bunch and you know just got too far ahead We basically have that hand with the make it rain petty officer, but we didn't have the one drop I don't think we have the one drop in our deck to be honest Oh, that's true. We have Jagged Butcher. Okay, yeah, we do. So we do have one drop. Good call. 
Yeah, no, that's okay. Yeah, that's, that's a great potato. I said, even if the ideas that come with aren't aren't any good, I love coming up with creative things to experiment and have fun with. Ooh, Omen Hawk. Let's go. for not just passing back and let, letting them pass back. Plus one, plus one on Riptide Rex. Is it necessarily something that's very important? Usually Riptide Rex can, can do a ton of damage, whether it's a 7-4 or an 8-5, either one. Got too well. Yeah, playing that make it rain when I did really hurt. You know, I wish I would have just passed the turn, had to make it rain the next turn. That that really hurt me. But we'll go Jaw Hunters this turn, and, and that's kind of about it. But next turn we'll have Warning Shot, Smooth Soloist. Wish I had that Devourer this turn. Just could have if I would have played Jaw Hunters last turn instead of the 3 3, I suppose. Okay, Nakano. With the Frosted Ezreal deck. Thank you. Hey, Cabo. Good morning. I really want to draw another warning shot. Where's their Twisted Fate at? It's at 6 out of 8. Like, do I need to just play Devourer this turn? It's possible I do. I think I need to just try this. This is six out of, you know, six out of eight Twisted Fate with them having like these other, you know, urchins and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, they use the pick a card to boost that thing up pretty fast. I'm at 27. Alright, so I think my my plan is this next turn go warning shot smooth soloist. And then I have this elusive smooth soloist that can hit them, and then I can play my other smooth soloist. 
And then I think I can I could probably go Smooth Solos plus Riptide Rex the, the next turn, as long as we hit them with this Elusive. And then the turn afterwards. Oh no! They have the Elusive to block. Close your eyes. They may not block, though. We may just take four. If we can hit him here or draw a warning shot, we can go Smooth Solos plus Riptide Rex. And then... Darn, they're probably blocking. And then, as I said, then we could go Ledros and Dreadway. Probably blocking. They're at 19. I'm gonna play Gangplank first and then try to go Riptide Rex afterwards. If Gangplank does damage to them. Yeah, or, or if it does damage, then I can go Smooth Soloist also. I could do either one. Yeah, that's true. I guess it'd probably be better to play the Smooth Soloist so I have the, the combo kill the next turn. That's it. Their bones are splintered. Maybe I need to go Riptide Rex. This is kind of scary. This. No, three of them went at. Or four of them went at Twisted Fate. Oh, well, at least we kill that thing. That's important. So, of course, Dreadway would, would draw a Gangplank, which would be a Parlay. Um, and it would do double damage, so it would do two damage. But they're at three. Um, and I can't, I can't do that and then use the Parlay to turn on the Plunder for the Smooth Solos, because then, I, you know, that's 12 mana. I don't have the removal, or I don't have the mana for that. If I do that, Gangplank levels up. I can do that. I can play Dreadway plus Thrash. This sets the one turn kill up for next turn.
I still barely survive. Alright, so let's see. So this is going to do 12 damage. This does 8 damage. And so I barely survive. I can't... Like, these are fearsome. I can't block Abyssal Eye. <laughs> yeah. All right, the best Ledros combo. This is like the first. This is the first time I've had Dreadway in play and played Ledros. This is like the first time I've gotten the combo, and they're at one, and so it doesn't matter. Like, come on. The first time. At least we doubled it up, put him down to two. No, they can't have atrocity atrocity shadow isles. They're not shadow isles. Alright, one on one. Okay, so now with Singleton being three regions, you could dread maw. Turn eight and death mark anything. And Ledros turn nine. What do you mean? Oh, I don't know what the death mark means, but yeah, you could have you could go with like Freljord ramp in Singleton. That's true. You could go like the Freljord ramp spells and get to it faster. Be able to Freljord ramp and have both of those. All right, so that was finally the first time. Yeah, this is this is like the third time for me to play this this combo together. So that's game number twelve, and the first time that I've pulled it off, and they were at one, so it didn't matter. They could have been at you know infinite, or I guess you know twenty is the most you can go in this game. Could have been at any life total, and would have killed them. And we just got one damage. Playing against Deep again, but this is the Shadow Owls version with Atrocity. Yeah, but I don't I don't understand why what Deathmark has to do on Deathmark on turn eight. Like what does that mean? Are you, so are you talking about you play the one mana card that reduces the cost of something by one and makes it ephemeral, and then you, you play that and death mark and then remove ephemeral? Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess you could do that. That. Yeah, and you're going with Ionia. Probably seems better to just ramp with Freljord. Okay, so we have double smooth soloist.
Yay. We got them to play the Maokai. Very good. Uh, Worst sea monster to hit. With Jaw Hunters. Cool, got the Ledros. I guess I'm giving them the Powder Keg to go attack. Whatever. I'm not gonna use this Powder Keg anyway. It's not like they're at 20 anyway. They gain, gain 3 life and go to 20 still. That's fine. I'm not gonna pass priority and. Yeah, you know, like, we'll. We'll let that happen. And yeah, we got double warning shot for the two smooth soloists. That's that's really nice. So now we just gotta draw the dreadway. Because through the Ledros. That's great. Now we gotta draw the dreadway. I'm not greedy. My friends though. Ooh, that's an interesting one. That's an interesting one. Bring back a Ledros after it dies. Or another smooth Please. soloist. Where are you? You know the value of coin. Please, I have connections. Oh, that's interesting. All right, come on, Dreadway. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Dreadway, Dreadway. We're doing good at drawing our warning shots. So do I be do I bring Gangplank back for three mana, or do I wait and try to bring some of these other cards back? Let's see. Smooth Soul is bringing back Plunder is is a play trigger, so like we won't get that on a summon. So next turn, I have eight mana. If I spend five of it on Smooth Soloist, I'll have three left, so I, I won't be able to play either of these also. Alright, chat saying bring Gangplank back. I don't know, I could, next turn I could like play Ledros, attack with Ledros, they block with Nautilus. And then I bring back Ledros. That's a lot of damage to them. Okay, so I can Smooth Soloist and Thresh. Which I could do Thresh first, so Thresh sees this Powder Keg die. It's probably better just to play Ledros and do 10 damage to them and then attack for 3. Probably is. I guess do I don't know eleven damage to them. Ouch! 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 Come on. Uh. Feeding time. Yeah, this deep deck is <laughs> so ridiculous. They spent three mana on those two cards. Cool. 20 damage. This is 
the deck I'm playing with Helm? No. I, I built this deck that I'm playing. Okay. I mean, I kind of like this, but it's just super slow. I don't hope they don't have turn one Teemo. I don't. I mean, I don't have anything to like Mulligan to stop turn one Teemo though, do I? No, we're not. I mean, oh, I guess I, I have a bunch of Mega Rains. Um. All right, we'll get rid of one Grifter. Yeah, the Gangplank is is probably our worst champion in our deck, but you know, it's good to have Gangplank with Dreadway. I want to see Black Market Merchant so we can reduce the cost of this stuff. That would be really nice. I'm going to try to kill these Starlet Seers. The Starlet Seer is pretty awesome. Set the hooks. Surely expecting at least Elixir of Iron. And may maybe Elixir of Iron on both. And, you know, maybe make it rain. Kill those, okay. Good. Get that Starlet. You know, get one of the Starlet Seers out of here first. Oh man, that worked out really well. That worked out pretty well. No. That's all right. That's not a Fury of North that they are playing proactively. At least. Yeah, I think I think Thresh is better in this deck than Gangplank, but you know you gotta have Gangplank to go along with Dreadway. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. When time calls, a reply is proper. Three, six, nine. Okay, so I can still draw another card. We don't need to just fire off a warning shot. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. No, I'm not going to. I was gonna say I could to level up to help Gangplank level up, but no. It's not worth it. I need to get rid of Teemo, and I'd, I'd rather use Twisted Fate to get rid of Teemo, where we could have Devour, maybe get rid of Puffcat Peddler. Peddler is also very important to get rid of, but first we gotta get rid of Teemo.
I kind of need to play this veteran investigator now before I get a whole bunch of more pup caps while I only have the four. Otherwise, I'm never going to play it. Um, the, the only reason why I want to play it is because of Twisted Fate as far as like leveling up Twisted Fate is concerned. That's my only reason to want to play it. But I guess it will cost zero mana later with Smooth Soloist, so it does kind of make sense just to play the Pilfer Goods oh, that's a hobbit, right, there. right now. I've always been a fun guy. It's, it's probably worth to at least play one game plank with Dreadway. It's probably not worth just dropping them completely. Surrender to the melody. I don't know, maybe this is bad. Maybe I need to just devour the Peddler now before they get, get even more. Like, Peddler is so good. Oh my gosh, they're attacking with Peddler. They gotta have Elixir of Iron. That is the only reason to attack with Peddler is you have Elixir of Iron. Sit back down. Basically, I I need to keep, I don't want to take any damage at all against this deck with all the pup caps. I don't want to take any damage. And so, yes, we don't get that uh, Twisted Fate. Have a mushroom. Have three. That seemed like a really weird attack. We're not going to have that Twisted Fate leveled up, but I don't want to take any damage. Alright, we got two peddlers down. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Dang, wish I had glimpsed beyond right there. So we got 27 puff caps. They got 27. I will just trade. This seems like a really weird trade. But basically, I know they have no cards. Like, you know, they have no cards in hand. It's like, it's kind of good. But, you know, if they draw Sejuani. I'm glad that that 4-1 is trading and not just being an 0-1 for Sejuani. Just trade with it. Get him, Dreadway. Where are you at, Gangplank? 4 out of 5? What if we make that five out of five? That's 
probably pretty good. And now this next turn we can drop Thresh, we can drop Gangplank. We have our Thresh Champion spell. Also that we can play. <laughs> We're hoping they draw Teemo, not Sejuani. Draw Teemo. Yeah, they had to have just drawn Teemo, right? I am reborn of salt and pride. If it was Sejuani, they would have played Sejuani. But it's Teemo, this is lethal. Yep. Alright. Two and two with our Dreadway combo. That's a fun one to play, just huge things. And Smooth Soloist, I mean, Smooth Soloist is not too bad, you know? It's kind of holding its own of, uh, you know, getting us some, some good cost reduction with our curve being so high and being able to play all this stuff, being able to play all these sea monsters that Jaw Hunter creates um, and all these other cards pretty cheaply. Yeah, right, Wickhelm? Yeah, Smooth Solus is the, the sleeper here. Alright, this is going to be kind of tough with, like, Lee Sin, since I don't have very much interaction. Lee Sin can be a challenge. Uh, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. I want to keep Grasp for Draven. Like, maybe. Maybe keep Grasp for Draven. We'll just get rid of it. I kind of want to keep Grasp. Yes, the more LP, the better. Yep. If you if you win, you gain uh, LP. You lose, you lose it. And it's always... I think it's between 15 and 25 for each game that you win and lose. We're just kind of going back and forth with our win-loss, win-loss. Could be worse. It's basically a one mana two two. Silent as death. For blood. The spirit gives to those who listen. Danger pay. <clears throat> so I could certainly see them playing uh, like retreat and put the shadow assassin back in their hand. Sure, I guess they do that thing, give it a challenger. Not all mean well. Um Seems worth it. Instead of losing the astute academic for nothing. Alright, fair enough. We are currently playing Dreadway Combo. I'm playing a combo deck with Commander Ledros and the Dreadway. I'll do. Breathe in, breathe out. And it's pretty sweet. Go and harvest it. I was planning on playing Yordle Grifter this turn, but actually, it's especially with how this happened, it's probably better just to play Thrash. Yeah, yep. Two each of Twisted Fate, Thrash, and Gangplank. Yep. With Smooth Soloist being our sleeper. Ooh, there we go. 
Let dress Dreadway. It's more like Draven is dead now time. Hopefully not another retreat. Uh, transfusion. That's even worse. Two units have died for Thrash. Uh, no, I don't think I've seen a Freljord Time Redinger deck recently. Bunch of spinning axes. Come on a musical journey. We find another smooth soloist. Ouch, that hurts. You insist on fighting when you could step aside. You cannot tell the wind to change direction. Find another smooth solos, then we can set up one turn with Dreadway and Ledros. Breathe in, breathe out. Grasping claws. Fire beware. That's fine, again, like, we, we should be okay, you know, like, our late game should be fine. We need to stay alive now. Uh, I think we're gonna go Dreadway. Yeah, we're gonna go Dreadway. I'll play this Jaw Hunters first. Oh no, the Shipwreck Horror that creates doesn't, right, because that wasn't in our hand or in our deck, so that one doesn't have the cost reduction. The ocean herself will fear us! I just have one card in hand, and <laughs> we kind of have a million cards in hand. Um, I'm always up for a round or two. Says I don't share. All right, gave them opportunity to play something else in case they have like deny. I, you know, I wanted to see if they would like deny that. Um, but we're gonna try. Do we get the one, one turn kill? Eighteen damage. That's a might. That's another might. There we go. Eighteen damage. That's the combo. One turn kill. Outplayed. Okay. That's pretty sweet. Smooth soloist. Definitely looked good. You know, we lost to. Were both of our losses to deep? No, no. We lost to one deep deck and we lost to one Ezreal deck that had a super fast start. Um, but yeah, there's not very much aggro running around these days. Oh, my camera's lagging really bad. I didn't I didn't adjust the camera setting, sorry. Sorry y'all, hopefully I can fix that. Okay, I gotta change that every single day. I can't just have it um, as like the normal settings. I have to go through and change stuff every day. I forgot about that. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, not too much like super fast aggro, so you have extra time, and so you have time to just kind of set this up with, um, you know, some 
super impactful heavy hitters with smooth solos reducing the cost. Pretty awesome deck. And then, yeah, you have like some nav so you can get some extra interaction uh, from your opponent's deck with your Pilfer Goods, your Yordle Grifter, your Black Market Merchant. Um, you know, the Yordle Grifter is definitely important because you need all the warning shots you can. We have six warning shots in here that are really important because you need it for Smooth Soloist. And it's nice to have for Riptide Rex also. Um, and, you know, you kind of need it for your Black Market Merchant and Jagged Butcher and all that kind of stuff, your Pilfer Goods. Pretty cool deck here. That's Dreadway Combo. All right, to so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments as well. I would really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Dreadway Combo and I'll see you for the next video.